This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Color Tools in Adobe Premiere Pro 24.1. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. One of the harder tasks in color grading is changing the look of a clip when the lighting color itself changes during the shot. In this short video, I'll show you how to use color keyframes to change the color grade during a shot using Premiere Pro. This one is really hard. This is Lindsay in a lit for the outside, color balance for the outside, then walks into a 3000K interior studio. It goes dark, it goes green, it goes ugly. I need to make a, a change as she's moving in. To do that, first thing I want to do is to select the clip, look at this on the scopes, pull the white levels down because they're over 100, We'll pull the highlights down because the background is too bright. We'll pull the exposure up so I see more of her face. I don't mind slightly losing that background. I want to be able to see her. Okay, so that's good. Then I'm going to go to this marker right here. The reason I go to that marker is this is where we make the transition from daylight to interior. Let's go to Effect Controls. If I do Basic Correction, I'm going to have to set a keyframe for every single one of these. All I'm really doing is adjusting the grayscale values. We'll set keyframes here, 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 and here. But then go down to Color Wheels and set a keyframe for Color Wheels. Now we'll move forward until we find sort of where everything sits right there. Select the clip, go back to Lumetri Scopes. Black levels look okay. This is a little dark. We'll pull the highlights up a bit. Don't want to lose, don't want to have that be too distorted, but we'll pull that up right about there. Not a lot. Then we'll go down to color wheels because that's a mess. And let's isolate on Lindsay's See if I set a crop for this or not. Yep, right there. Let's isolate for Lindsay's hand right there and go to Lumetri Scopes. And we can see that it's a little bit yellow, so we'll pull that. It's a little bit saturated. We'll just put it right on the line. Take off the crop. A little bit, a little bit dark. Pull the highlights up just a bit more. Saturation down. I'm watching. That's a little bit too saturated. Pull that here. Okay. Then we'll remove the crop. The problem is all those keyframes are in the wrong spot. So we'll go down to here. And we'll find the marker right there. And we'll drag this over there and there. And drag this over. And go down to here and drag this over. And what I've just simply done is I color graded on the finished shot, but changed the markers to where the end of that walk is. And now as she walks in, we're balanced for daylight. Here comes the change. Go. And now we're color balanced for the inside. And a change happens on the walk. So the viewer is busy watching her walk in and explore the studio and doesn't even notice the fact that the colors are changing. Now that one drop in brightness is because I've got two keyframes here. So let me just get rid of that one and keep this one. Just move this over. All right, one more time. There we go, much smoother. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Color Tools in Adobe Premiere Pro 24.1. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 363.
By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.